Hello Frontline Teach, this is Val Soul, um, and I am here to talk to you about nutrition and HIV. Obviously nutrition is important for everybody, not just folks living with HIV, um, but folks living with HIV have uh, particular nutritional requirements, um, and they might have different goals within that, but we know that nutrition is super important, um, and so we're, we're going to spend some time talking about it. Uh, first, here's a fact. If you live 65 years or longer, um, you will have consumed 70,000 meals and disposed of 50 tons of food and sometimes, personally, I get freaked out when I think about all of the food that I have to procure for myself for the rest of my life as if it were all in a warehouse. Um, and so imagining 50 tons worth of food in a warehouse um, is a little intimidating, but we, we do it one meal at a time and everybody does it and it's just part of being human. So we want to um, help support people in making um, choices that work for them. Uh, and you would think that the only foods that are enjoyable are the unhealthy ones, and obviously they're very enjoyable, um, but uh, we know that enjoyment can come from healthy choices. Um, fresh fruits, a variety of cut colors um, in vegetables, um, the sort of more colors you eat, the broader spectrum of nutrients you're going to get. Uh, whole grains rather than processed grains, um, lean protein, uh, and we'll talk about all of these in a little more detail. Um, so eating healthy foods is important for everybody. It supports, you know, the stuff that is our bodies, muscles, bones, skin, and blood. Um, gives us the energy to do the stuff in our life that we need to um, and can help prevent or delay chronic diseases. But specifically for folks living with HIV, um, nutrition is important because the immune system actually requires a number of nutrients to stay healthy. Um, diet can significantly impact um, the side effects of meds and the symptoms of OIs. You know, nausea is a really common side effect of a lot of meds. Um, and so uh, loss of appetite can also be a side effect and someone's more likely to eat food that they enjoy rather than they that they don't enjoy. Um, so if someone has a low appetite or has nausea, um, we want to help them enjoy things that are going to give their body what it needs while they're in low food situations. Um, so not everybody has the same nutritional goal. Some folks are trying to lose weight, some need to gain weight, some could go back and forth in the space of a year um, or less. Uh, so the nutritional goal that you might have will depend on your body, um, if you're positive, its reaction to the virus, um, your regular eating habits, your exercise habits, the availability of nutritional food, the family history, and sort of what you inherit from your ancestors. Um, and everybody should have a discussion with their doctor about nutrition. Um, and uh, anyone living with HIV um, should definitely talk to a nutritionist um, about the specific nutritional needs. And if you don't know, or if you know for sure that your doctor doesn't have connections with nutritionists, um, contact me and I'll see what I can find for you, wherever you are. Um, okay, so calories are often seen as the enemy right? But actually calories are required for everything we do. We consume those calories from the foods that we eat um, and that gives us the energy we need to function. So low calorie might not actually be better depending on what your goals are. Um, and the number one place where calories come from is carbohydrates. So here's a a picture of some wheat here that just came in. Um, that's a really um, common example of carbohydrates. Um, this is actually an ideal nutrient to meet er your body's energy needs. Um, there are a couple of different kinds of carbohydrates. Complex carbohydrates um, come from grains and cereals and starchy vegetables. Simple, car simple carbohydrates are just plain up sugars, they're really easy for your body to digest, um, and that's why you get a quick burst of energy, um, uh, but then 
they don't last very long and that's why you get a crash and so those are often from fruit juices and processed foods. Um, carbohydrates also have fiber, particularly the complex carbohydrates, and that's really good for your digestive system overall. Um, so there are some examples of um, high fiber foods. Um, everybody needs protein and um, protein helps the body um, do a lot of different things um, and is a stored form of energy. Um, people living with HIV and AIDS need a higher intake of protein in their diet. Um, and so here are some different sources of protein. There are animal proteins, fish, chicken, turkey, red meat, eggs, cheese, milk products, but there's also vegetable proteins. We haven't forgotten you vegetarians. Beans, peas and lentils, tofu, tempeh, miso, seitan, soy milk and rice milk, nuts and nut butter, seeds and seed butter. All of those are sources of protein. Um, here are a few tips for increasing protein in your diet. Um, add beans to soups and salads, spread nut butters on bread, toast, and crackers. Um, add grated cheese and diced meats to your meals. Add canned tuna to salad and casseroles. Um, eat desserts and salad made with eggs. Those are all um, ways to increase the amount of protein that you have. Um, fats is actually an entire category of food that we need. Um, here's a picture of some fats. Not all fads, fats are bad, and something that's low fat might actually be an unhealthy choice for you, um, depending on what your goal is. Um, and if, you know, if the, if the goal that you have is to eat well-rounded, then actually you need fat in your diet. Um, so eating fat is different from the fat that's stored in our bodies. That's energy from the excess food that we eat, and that is from all food groups, can be turned into fat. Um, so there are different kinds of fat that we can eat. Saturated fats, those are the ones that are solid at room temperature, so butter, fried food, dairy products, red meat, pork, lamb, shortening. There are unsaturated fats, which are, which are liquid at room temperature, and that comes from vegetable oils, avocado, nuts and seeds. Um, and we all need fat. Um, the goal is not to eliminate fat entirely. Um, you'll see in this little plate here, lots of fruits and vegetables, about a third of intake is protein, and then fat in the middle is crucial. So watching portions is important. Um, everything is comes bigger today. The actual, what they, what they say as a serving of meat or, or fish is about the size of a deck of cards. Um, a, a serving of cereal is one cup of cereal. A serving of rice is one cup cooked, not uncooked. Um, the food labels often have calories by serving size, not by the entire bag, um, and that the entire bag might contain multiple servings. And so you look at the food label and you say, oh, it's only 180 calories in here, but actually there are four or five different um, chunks of 180 calories in there. Um, so that can, that can be tricky. Um, we recommend not to supersize, um, and also if you've ever seen the movie Supersize Me, then you'll be very grossed out by it. Um, water is important, um, and a tip um, for those who are trying to watch their weight um, and not gain weight is to um, focus on the enjoyment and focus on the meal so that you realize how much you're eating and not just sort of wolfing it down. I have a hard time with that. Um, so tips for a healthy diet, five to six servings of fruit or vegetables or approximately three cups. Half carbohydrates come from whole grains rather than processed grains. Choose lean meats and low-fat dairy products, unless your goal is to gain weight. Um, limit soda and sugar-filled drinks. The problem with soda and sugar-filled drinks is that they're all calories, and they don't actually give you anything in return. Um, so here are some uh, resources for learning more. MyPyramid.gov actually lets you, um, it's kind of a cool tool, um, and you can uh, punch in what it is that you eat in a day and they will tell you how many calories that is um, and they have it used to be that there was just one food pyramid and now they have about a dozen to reflect all these different goals and needs so 
That's it for this time. I'll see you later.